Number three says, one approach to the problem of pollution control is in a market economy is the selling of pollution credits, known as external rights. The Pollution Control Agency of Big Falls has determined that, determined that 500 tons of pollutants may be discharged into the Fox River each year because this is determined recycling capacity of the river. Accordingly, 500 pollution credits entitling the owners to dump one ton of pollutants into the river in a year are available. The city intends to make 500 pollution credits each year. Letter A. What would be the shape of the supply curve for pollution credits in 2004? Well, we need to draw our supply and demand graph. And here's our price and quantity. And since the supply is exactly 500, that would be perfectly inelastic. And that would not change. So there's our supply curve for 2004 because it's perfectly inelastic. Letter B, what would be the shape of the supply curve for pollution credits in 2009? Well, it's going to be 500 every year, so that doesn't change, though so it would still be a vertical shape there of 500 for supply. Draw and label a demand curve for pollution credits in 2004. And so here's the demand curve for 2004. Uh, and it will be downward sloping because some people will be able to pay a lot for those uh, credits, and some businesses wouldn't be able to afford them. So it's just a downward sloping demand curve. On the same graph, draw and label a demand curve for pollution credits in 2009. Explain what would happen to demand over time. This is letter D. Ex uh, assuming that populations may increase and more businesses come to town, we would actually have an increase in demand, depending on how you wanted to answer this question. I would accept several answers, but that might be one of them. And so that would be an increase in demand, and then that would be for 2009. And so you can see the price went up, but the quantity uh, stayed the same. And actually, that just answered letter E. It says, what would happen to equilibrium price for pollution credits over time? And here is our original price. There's our new price. And so we can see over time, it goes up. For letter F, I would almost make a little T-chart uh, for uh, showing the benefit and costs of producers, consumers, and the public. And I would just think of some things that are good for producers. You know, the fact that they can still produce and still uh, pollute, they just need to buy those credits. That would probably be a plus. The con is they do have to buy those credits. Uh, consumers, they can still buy the products that they want. The con is it's going to probably be more expensive to buy them. And for the public, they're the ones that aren't receiving the goods. The pro is that, is that there's less pollution, and the con is that there is actually still pollution too as well. So kind of generic answers, but that's something I would write up for the last part there. And that's the answer number three.